All right, Apple fans, the wait is over. iOS 18 is bringing some smooth upgrades to make your iPhone smarter, cooler, and way more. You know, let's break it down real quick. So what's new in iOS 18.2 Beta 4? We're going to talk about next level creativity with revamped image playground, whipping up animations and sketches. It's easier and more fun than ever. Let your imagination go wild. As you see, I have these beautiful pictures that I've already created. So in this update, this new update, they improved. So like in the last video I did. So you can use these suggestions right here, or you can decide to make your own suggestions. So I'm going to pick a person, which is me, and then... We're going to pick animation style uh, instead of illustration. Let's see, it's already, it's already starting to make me already. So I'm going to describe I'm um, on a beach with the sun. So as you see, we don't get that glitchy uh, thing like we did before. So, I mean, it actually looks like me now. Look which before this thing did not look like me. So I'm glad Apple updated this. It's pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to go to a fantasy line instead of, instead of a beach. Well, we have a beachy fantasy line. What you think about that? So these look a lot better. These look more like me now than it did before. So... I'm going to try out a different person. I'm going to try out my daughter. See if I can find it. Here she go. So let's see what it makes for her. Oh, that looks good. This one came out really good, too. Yeah, this actually looks like her, too. This one really looks like her. This is amazing. All right, so that's Image Playground. So it's working a whole lot better. Now what we're going to do is edit like a pro. The Photos app now shows timestamps with milliseconds, perfect for those precision edits that will make your videos pop. So we're going to go to Photos, and we're going to go to, and I'm going to do a recent uh, video. So I have a video over here and a video over here. So if you remember in the last beta, on iOS 18.2 beta 3, we were still with this scrubber that actually shows, it shows by the seconds, as you see right here. And then on my iPhone 14, iOS 18.2 beta 4, you actually get to see the difference, uh, actually see the milliseconds. So as you see, you see the milliseconds, so it's a big difference. Uh, so it, is, it helps you to edit a lot quicker, a lot easier to be able to find what you need compared to the old way on the iPhone 15 where it just actually just shows you the seconds. I haven't seen anybody else talk about this. So we're going to go to the next thing. And that is choosing the best main apps. Forget about default restrictions. We can now set our favorite apps for email, messaging, calling, browsing to make your phone 100% yours. All right, so how do we do that? So we go into settings, scroll all the way down till we get to apps. And then as you see right here at the top, default apps, press into that. Now, as you see right here, we have email. So you can pick whether you want Gmail or iOS or Apple email, you have your messages. If I have WhatsApp or I had another messaging app, it would show up right here. So I could pick between those. Calling, I get to choose what my primary is, which would be phone or FaceTime. I chose phone. And then my browser app. If I had another browser app like Chrome or Duck, Duck, Goose, Go, something like that, then I will have a choice there. So that's the default apps.
Now, what do we have next? Let's keep it chill. Don't let the tunes get too loud. We now have the new volume limit control that helps you set the perfect vibe every time. So how do we do that? We go into settings and we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for sounds and haptics. And you're going to scroll down until you see volume limit. So we go to volume limit and right here we can choose what limit we want uh, our music or anything on a phone to play when we're doing media. So it says set a limit for how loud your iPhone speaker can play audio such as songs, movies, and other media. This does not limit or does not affect your phone for calls, FaceTime, emergency calls, alerts, ringtones, alarms, system sounds, or find my sounds. So those sounds stay the same. This is only for media. So we also get this option right here. So this update is all about making life easier and your iPhone cooler. Mark your calendars because we're getting iOS 18.2 officially drops in early December. You won't want to miss this. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.